Hi, beautiful. It's been a while. <laughs> <coughs> you look stunning. Oh my god. Thank you for being here with me today. I missed you so much. Hair Just Reacts is back, baby. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I had to bring you some bleach fails today because you love it. I love it. We all love it. Something about somebody burning their hair off and having it fall to the floor and it be crispy and crazy and nasty and gross. And it's just satisfying in the weirdest way possible. Maybe not satisfying, but very entertaining. I needed this. I need this back in my life. I missed it. Let's watch some people absolutely demolish their hair. Up first, we have a video by McKenna Audrey. You're looking at the title and you're like, what? What's going on? Honestly, yeah. Because the title of the video is Bleaching My Hair Fail. I shave my head. Get ready for an epic motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna trim it. We're gonna attempt to bleach it. If it gets really damaged, we're gonna cut it right here. And if it's still as damaged as that short, or if I hate the bob, we're shaving my head. If it turns out bad, like I don't really care. That's good. At least you know going into this that it could be very, very bad. And from the title, it seems like it's gonna be very, very bad. And you're willing to sacrifice it all for a blonde head of hair. <laughs> I'm glad that she's cutting her hair first. Like the less hair, the better. More hair, it's just a lot more work. It's a lot more time. It's a lot more stressful. Things get tangled. Uh, hair gets everywhere. There's a bleach everywhere. It takes a lot more bleach. So good. Trim your hair first. We have foils, bleach, 30 volume developer, bowls, gloves, and we have scissors. She's got good tools today. That bleach is fine. It's done me some good over the years. Like I've definitely lightened my hair with that same Wella bleach and 30 volume. Good. I mean, I can't tell what her hair looks like right now. Her ends of her hair don't look like they can really handle 30 volume, but the top maybe. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to evaluate in a minute. So give me a minute. Give me a minute. And she's got real hair scissors. Oh my God. We are just... Where is the, where is the bat? How is it gonna be bad? These are dog grooming scissors, but they work on my hair just the same. Oh, they were dog grooming scissors. <laughs> I guess that's fine. I, I'm sure it's some very similar. My hair is also very dirty because I don't want the bleach to burn my scalp. Good idea. Do not wash your hair the day you bleach it or else your head will burn so bad. I've done that so many times to myself. Don't do it because you will die if you try to bleach your hair on a clean scalp. Like you will literally, it'll sizzle and it'll be like, tss, it'll be smoke coming off your head. <laughs> like that. We have the first trim sectioned out. Her hair cannot handle 30 volume. I can already tell you these ends are compromised and they are lightened already and it looks dry. I'm scared. And there we go. First trim. All right, we did a little inch long trim. Um, Cool. Let's get to the bleaching though. It's time to section. It's time to bleach. See, I have so much hair and it makes me not want to use the foils. It makes me want to just do this. Listen, there's more than one way to Walmart, as my cosmetology teacher used to always say. Meaning that you can bleach your hair all different sorts of ways. Is there an optimal way? Yes. Is there many ways though? Yes. And she could just not use foils, but it'll take much longer. You won't get as clean of a result. I just wouldn't recommend it. When you're using lightener and you're trying to get that maximum amount of lift, usually foils are the best option. I might just use my hands. Sorry, Brad. You're breaking the third wall. Is that what it's called? The third wall? Are you watching me watch you? You're freaking me out a little bit. How did she just say my name? I'm sorry, Brad. I'm like, what? Hello? Can you hear me? Is this live? Are we live broadcasting right now? Mm, that'd be a lot of foils. I mean, from the top of my head right now, just looking at this really quickly, I would probably, you know, section into four quadrants. See how her hair is very light at the ends and then it's a little darker in the midsection and it's dark on the root. I would go in the upper midsection first with that 30 volume and lightener and put it all in foils. And then once that gets to the orange stage, then go and apply like a 20 volume to the ends. And then once that all becomes nice and bright yellow, then go and apply it to the root. Like if you want to get the most clean result, that would probably be the best route for her because you want to work on the darkest parts first or the parts that have the most color. Natural hair lightens pretty quick, but hair that has been repeatedly colored with dark box dye or even just regular dye, it's hard to lift. So start there and then work on the lighter parts that are synthetically lightened and then work on the natural root last. Woo! That was a lot. Let's try one foil and see how it works out. Yeah, no, it's not happening. We both know that it was just not gonna happen. So I'm glad you just called it quits early. She's putting a lot of lightener on there, which I am excited about. I know you can't tell that I'm excited about it, but the only thing is that like her ends are so compromised already and she's putting so much lightener on there with 30 volume and I'm just scared she's gonna leave it on too long. And that's where all the damage is gonna happen. <gasps> but she's not doing the root first. 
She's a real one. It's already starting to lighten. Okay, so far so decent. She is going in there with so much lightener. She's going in there with small sections. She's really getting it in there with her fingers, you know? She's really distributing that product well, which I appreciate a lot. People don't put enough product on and they don't distribute it enough and they don't get it on all the little hair strands and like that's what we need to be doing in this process. So great job, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> because we both know it's not gonna be good. My hair is like breaking off an inch from my root. Your hair is what? So an inch from the root? Did you just say your hair is breaking off an inch from the root? So why are we going in with more lightener? Y'all are wild out there. Y'all are fucking crazy. Brad, how's my sectioning? How's my lathering? Well, bleach doesn't lather, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, I can't see what's going on the back of your head, but from the front, it looks like your sectioning is decent enough. I would give it a five out of 10. I'm gonna do my roots when the timer gets to like 10 minutes. I'm leaving this in for 45 minutes and then we're gonna wash it out. Okay, saturation looks delicious. I could eat it like a little snack. However, too much root, and it's not even. Let's leave out an inch of the root, but not more than that, because then that's when we get into banding. That's when we don't get enough heat from our scalp and things start to get yellow in the midsections, okay? That's what's gonna happen in a, little, in a few spots. I see a little bit of too much root going on here. And then also, try not to lay the hair on top of itself so heavily, because what happens is that your hair gets really hot. So all the hair down here and in the middle is gonna get really bright white and probably snap off because there's so much heat. There's so much hair and bleach stuff on top of itself that all the stuff in the middle is gonna over process you gotta let that air flow through all the sections or else it's gonna be a disaster oh no oh no oh no oh no Why are you starting at the top with your roots? That is the most fragile part of your hair. So let's start on the bottom or in the middle, anywhere but the top with the roots. Cause that is gonna process the fastest, my darling. And we don't want that to happen. Also like, how are you gonna get underneath your hair now that you already did the root? You know, it's gonna be a little messy. I'll report back when I'm done with my roots. See ya in 10 minutes, baby. Here we go, ladies and gents. I missed a lot of spots. Oh no! Wow, it looks really bad. You see the strand right here? It's just brown. I don't know how I missed that. <gasps> what? Oh my god. <gasps> we did not section properly and we did not leave that lightener on for long enough. That is for fucking sure. How did this happen? How did it happen? How did I miss that many spots? Well, like, doesn't make sense. It really does. It makes sense. Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, can you tell me where the frick I went wrong? Because I thought I did a pretty good job. Oh, it's coming out. It also feels like it's never gonna dry. It feels terrible. It feels terrible. I literally think I'm gonna have to shave it off. Oh no. She's really gonna have to go for the shave. Yo, all of her hair is falling off. We're gonna chop all this off. Oh my God, that one, that one chair? Yeah. Oh, she's going for a huge chop. Oh my God, this is getting wild. I'm gonna show you how much hair I just lost. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it feels terrible. Do you see it? Like, I don't think there's any saving this. Oh my God, I was not expecting her to cut that much off. This is the situation that we are in right now. Terrible. That hair was not gonna come back from the dead though. Like, I'm so happy she chopped it off because there is no saving that hair. It was gone, it was done for, dead, damaged, mutilated. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna see what we're working with. Damage wise. It's coming off a lot more orange on camera than it is in person. At this point, go red. Get a semi-permanent red color. It'll look great, it'll be conditioning, and it'll save your hair, and it'll look so much better than whatever this is going on. You know, let's work with what we have. She's still going with the cut. So we're using a 16 guard to start because I don't know how short to go because obviously I've never done this before. Wait, I'm like sad she's shaving it. Why didn't we have more fun with the color before we shaved it? Damn, I wish she tried at least to go blonder. Like, let's have some fun with it. Let's damage it even more, you know? Let's go for it. Let's do, 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 do. Let's do it if we're gonna shave it anyways. I'm getting places. It's so dark back here. That's so weird. Look at how many, how much of her roots she could just completely missed. We're going a little bit shorter. I don't know why I'm spotty. So this is it, the final product. It is really cool to like touch. 
bleach and rub and I'm just excited for my hair to finally be healthy again Um, I think I like it, but like I said, I might still be in shock. Oh Sorry, I'm like oh. I need like a second to just Hold on, give me a second. Just we'll cut to the next scene where I'm back. I have to say, first of all, that dark shaved head on her looks unbelievably good. And second of all, oh my God, that was a horrifying disaster. You take home the award for the biggest fail of the year so far. Who's gonna beat her out? Up next, we have this person whose name is... Hey everyone, this is Abdemelik Likima. Abdemelik... Abdemelik... Abdelamelik... Abdelamelik Legima. That's their name. I am about to do a crazy thing. Well, there is no point in making any suspense because you obviously already saw the title, so you know what the video is about. <laughs> Are you wondering why I'm crying? It's because they're beautiful, gorgeous. I don't want to see it be dead. I didn't know I'm going to because when bleach comes damage, it's inevitable. I know a lot about that. I watched a tutorial of Brand Mando. You have to start from the end because the roots process faster. That's right. I'm glad I could help you. And I hope I didn't influence you to bleach your hair because I don't want to be the one who's in the wrong here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I went to the store and I literally showed a picture of Kim K to the seller with blonde hair and I asked him, how can I get this? So he told me that I had to bleach my hair. This bleaching powder from Andrea Doty and I took three boxes. A box is just never enough. It's not gonna cover that hair and you have so much hair and it's so long. It's like no, use a tub. Then I have to apply this toning and white refining. So I assumed that this is the toner. And then I read permanent color cream. I mean, you can tone with permanent color. I don't like to do it that way, but a lot of hairdressers do. I'm not gonna get into the differences because it's way too complicated. I'll just say that I like to use demi color when I tone my blondes. Another thing that Brand Mando taught me, you don't do balayage at home by yourself. But this video isn't called I'm following what Brand Mando said, so I'm doing it anyway. But the thing that he taught me was that when you're bleaching and you're leaving the roots, it's never gonna end in a good way. And guess what we're doing today? We're leaving the roots. Balayaging this dark of hair, you need a good technique or else you're gonna get spots, gonna look whack if you don't do the right areas. It's gonna look very like light and dark and patchy and weird and it's all difficult. This is why we go to professionals, you know? But if you wanna do it at home, that's totally cool too. Well, the box contains powder and the 30 volume developer. 30 volume would be good for you. You've extremely dark hair. You're gonna need a lot of power to lay in that. Woo! A lot, a lot of power. I just finished the aluminum foils. Ooh, I like the long foils. So you don't have to use like 10 little small foils to go all the way down the hair. Super helpful and good idea. Do I feel like you're gonna use the foils correctly? I don't, I don't have hope. Even for a hairdresser to do it on their own head, it's tough. But to do it on your own head and not have any hair skills is even tougher. So we're setting ourselves up for failure. too much hair in the foil and not enough saturation, not enough moving the hair around, getting in every single little spot. If we're doing balayage, why are we doing every single hair strand? We need to leave some dark in between or else you're gonna get a very unnatural ombre. I don't think that's what they're looking for. What is going on? Why was that so dry and crusty? What the fuck? Honestly, I don't know if it's like blonde enough to like be silver. Oh. Getting that hair silver in one session is going to be a task. Probably not even possible. You need to go in with very, very paper thin sections and do every single little hair strand with tons and tons of lightener and put a foil on top of every single section and close those foils up. Get that heat in there. Put a bag over top of it. Let it sit for a fucking an hour and 15 minutes, and that's when you'll get silver hair. Otherwise, this ain't gonna happen this way. I think that I have to do like a second round of bleaching and I actually don't have enough uh, product. Oh my God. They don't have enough product. The hair is not giving. The technique isn't there. Oh, we are just getting counted down to the ground. I think that it's literally not uh, white enough. It's piss yellow. Oh my god, this is so bad. 
it's not too late to go back. Grab some black box dye, I don't care. Professional color or just box dye, because at this moment, anything is better than nothing. I'm gonna act like I am so fucked sad like I'm crying and everything it is not enough that's all I'm gonna say it's not enough time and not enough power not enough light and not enough anything oh my god we're going in with more we're going in with more <laughs> Okay, so now he's toning his hair. I'm scared! That toner did absolutely nothing. What did you even do? I mean, it's likely because the toner was for level 10 hair and your hair is level eight. That doesn't work really like that. And also permanent color does not lighten colored hair. It only lightens natural hair. So you're kind of just like, it's not working for many reasons. I really tried. It's a disaster. I know nothing about her, so I'm just like gonna stay like this until I find a fucking solution. My recommendation would just be to go back to dark. The only other option is to just go to a professional who does great balayage and trying to fix this at home, me trying to explain to you how to fix it is just gonna be impossible. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna tell you to go back dark. Unless you wanna just stay like this. That's totally up to you. But that was a train wreck. Up next, we have a video by Daily Dose of Normality. This video is a shout out and a dedication to Brad Mondo. Hello. Thank you for having me. I want to apologize to you and I want to apologize to myself. I watch all your videos. I listen, I pay attention, but I'm not taking on your advice. It seems to be a theme. You learn, you listen, but you don't actually take the advice. And I get it. I even don't take my own advice. You should see all the shit I do to my hair behind the scenes. Like, oh boy. <laughs> it gets crazy sometimes because I get manic and I start doing stuff and it's all of a sudden my hair is just, <laughs> A little damaged. <laughs> and I am the one preaching to you to stop. It's fine, I get it, I understand. I want to get rid of this color and I want to go a light brown, but I am not going to be able to go light brown on this color because last time I tried, it went basically black. I got this. I don't know if it's any good. I just don't think it's gonna be good for you. Results may be brassy, uneven, or blotchy. I'm going with that. Your results are definitely gonna be brassy, blotchy, and uneven. This is the hair we are working with currently. And her hair is red. Oh no, bleach on red hair, trying to go blonde with the box dye without using my advice. Oh, don't make me cry, I'm an ugly crier, please. <laughs> And she wins an award for the most interesting sectioning I have seen all year. Um, what the fuck is that? Who's making these sections up? Who's doing it? Send me the YouTube channel because I have never seen such a thing. Quadrants, guys. Think about four quadrants. This is what it looks like. Boom. That's it. Just do that. It's easy. Do you think it's easier to just squiggle it on my hand and then put it in my hair? Honestly, yeah. It would be easier to squiggle it on your hand first. <laughs> I know this is not enough. I'm just getting it off of my hand so far. <gasps> I don't even know what time it is. Do I start the 25 minutes from when my hair is completely... COVID. And she is successfully not bleaching her roots first, so that's good. You did listen to me. You did listen to me on one thing. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Brad Mondo, is this enough? You can't even tell me. Oh my God, why are you not here? Oh, it's stinging my eyes. So fumey. Just have some fun with this, shouldn't I? Yes. <laughs> when that dries, it's gonna look great. I love her. I hope this isn't a fail. I'm hoping this doesn't reach. Fails. It's reached the fail. Okay, so not a good sign. I've only done this much. I've still got all of this and all of this, and I've just finished the first bottle. You better work faster because your hair is processing. It is lightening. You only have one little quadrant colored. And so if you don't start coloring the rest now, you're going to have one section that's really light and the rest really dark slash every single section is gonna be a different color. And if you rinse this all off at once, you're gonna end up with an array of orange and yellow on your head instead of just yellow. So this is developing already. It's warm and I can see that it's already getting quite blonde. Make sure you guys wait until the color is a yellow color before we start applying to the roots because the roots go really, really quick. It's different for everybody, so I'm not gonna give you like an actual time of how quick they process, but it's much quicker than the mids and ends. So 
You gotta wait until your ends get nice and yellow. Does this look about time to put it in my roots? Your hair is not light enough to do your roots yet. It is me saying I shouldn't start with the top because I didn't start with the top before. And now I'm starting with the top just so I don't run out so I can hide it underneath. Uh, why does everybody apply their roots like this? Why does everybody apply their roots like this? Why don't we section it back out when we do the roots? Like why is it all of a sudden we're sectioning everything and we're doing the mids and ends? And then all of a sudden we go back to the roots and we just put it on the top. Like we're just like... And like a shampoo, like, no, we gotta go back in section by section. You know what, everybody needs to invest in a tail comb. This is what a tail comb looks like, okay? If you don't already know. You need that to do a proper sectioning. So this was the result. It's very orange. Honestly though, kind of a slay. Kind of like decent. It's definitely orange, it's definitely not blonde, but her hair looks in good health. Who would have thought? She's trying to go light brunette, so it could be fine. It feels very dry, like it's getting knotty even when I've brushed it, all only at the tips. Okay, she did miss a lot of spots. I, I, I see that now, so um, I take back what I said. It's not that great. Missed a bit here, if you can see. Here, only slight, but the back is, I haven't even seen the back myself yet. <gasps> Ooh, all those little dots everywhere, those dark spots that she missed. God, make me so upset. <laughs> We're back for part two. Because I'm trying to go this color, I think it'll go over the top of it anyway. I don't section my hair, so you're all gonna be screaming at me like, what are you doing? Why not? Why not section it for me? Why not one person? Just make me happy today. Okay, I mean, now she's going with the brown box dye, which is also just a mistake. Don't go in with box dye or permanent color after you bleach it. I don't recommend it. If you wanna keep the integrity of your hair, don't do that. <laughs> you don't need that much power. It's been about four to five minutes. This is what it looks like. So this is it washed out. I haven't brushed it or anything yet, so it's very knotty. The color is probably gonna look very hollow because when you're going that light to that dark, you need to fill the hair or else it's going to look like it has zero depth to it. The strands of hair are gonna be like see-through looking, but also brown at the same time. It gives you a very undesirable, unnatural look to your color. This is the end result. I'm really, 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 really pleased with it. It looks a lot healthier than it feels in certain points. I'm not gonna lie, it did feel like the straighteners were breaking and killing my hair, but it's shiny, it's light brown, it's the color I wanted it to be, and I am so, so bloody happy with it. So I'm gonna turn around and show you the back. I clearly was not made to show you the back of my hair because again, I'm not even showing you it. I'm to the left of the camera. So sorry that you can't really see the back, but I did, I promise I tried. Listen, it's not terrible. To an untrained eye, it doesn't look bad, for sure. Like, you look great. But to a trained eye, you know, there's definitely things going on that I already pointed out. Uh, but it's decent enough. It's workable. It's, it's look, You look great. You look cute. You look nice. Can we make it even better? Yes, but I'll take this. It was kind of a fail, but you also kind of slayed at the end. Good job. Well, not really. The things you did were just tragic. <laughs> Don't do it again. This is your free hall pass. Wow, that was scary. I forgot how tortured I feel at the end of these videos. I'm gonna go now and get some mental health help because I feel drained. By the way, you guys, I just launched five new X Mono colors and they're all jewel tones and they are sexy as hell. Yeah, they all are beautiful colors, obsessed. Please try them out. Make sure you record them and post a video and maybe I'll react to you. You can check out my hair care and my hair color line at xmodohair.com. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.